hole down there. the sluice box. On the beach. In the harbor at no. Alaska. Okay, we'll zoom in here. See what Mike's doing. He's actually just taking the pins out that hold the box in place. Close up of the pin. A little rusty. There's another one. And so oh, here you got that one out. Okay. Here you got that one out. The pins hold the uh, riffles in place. This is the Expanded metal over expanded metal section in the front with miner's moss underneath and carpet underneath that. Behind that we have the riffles section. They'll be all out in a minute. Small in the front, bigger, and biggest in the back. We also wash them out. <clears throat> Putting the pump in, so we have our own water to wash and clean up the sluice box with. Happy Mike and Happy Brendan, yeah they're both happy. Happy guys, up here finding gold in Nome, Alaska. Let's see if we get a close-up of that gold up here. Oh, let's see. Oh, back up a little bit here. Coming underneath. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't do this by the camera, so I if I want to. Alright, we'll shut this up. Well, see how it's on. Start pumping the water, yeah. Alright. Oh, back it up. It's good they didn't fall in the ocean on that one. A little bit embarrassing. doing here is they're pulling the ripple sections out and washing all the material there. The material is the dirt and the stuff we've sucked up from the bottom of the ocean. They're washing all this material out, dropping it down on the mat where they're going to be putting it in this black tub for classification in a few minutes. Expanded metal. Yeah, it's really good. It's all cleaned up now. That's in the head. Underneath it is miner's moss. 
No, what we do is we have two pieces of miner's moss so we can switch in and out. Oh, and, uh, so we always have a dry piece of miner's moss to put back in there. This is the riffle section. The larger of the two sections. Brendan rinsing that off. All the material, gold bearing material gets washed into the bottom of the box. In this section is a rug down there. And the front underneath the miner's moss, that blue stuff, there's another rug. So we put all this up on the deck. Well, we're cleaning up. Another piece of miner's moss that we're going to put back in there. It's already dried. It's, no matter how much you do it when it's wet, you're not going to get all the material out of that 3M miner's moss. We're going to put close up of that here. Right. So it just goes in there and gets stuck in between the oh, wow. wires. I picked the bad one. I stay hunched over for a long time. No, no, no I got this. Oh. Job rinsing that off. Super duper. Uh, the broken handled one. Okay. Puts that in the bucket. And takes it back to camp, dry it out. And this is the one we dry it out. And then I bring it back and we're putting it in as we change. Minus moss today. Next thing he's picking up there is the rug. And washing down the rug. Let's see if we get a close up of that. Big chunks, we like to see the big chunks. Okay, now they're in there. Everything gets washed down into the tub. Okay, close up this stuff. I don't know if you can see it very well. Oh, yeah. Well, at least I can see it. Okay. Now you know it's there. <laughs> Washing it all down into the tub. Yeah, and then we'll go back and clean it up. Up. Let it for a little while. Yeah. yeah. I won't stop. Well, yeah, they're cleaning it up there. We can go over here and look at the uh, fun ship. And it's running right now. And yeah, pumping water and everything. Bruce Kittis, who owns the Mummy Mist, has uh, got his boat running in the harbor here. And now, as well as you can see, it's just sucking up water. 
And then Zerline is going back behind his fishing boat. No puppy does. Well, what's this uh, propeller on the, on the deck? Oh, hi Wayne. Hello everybody in New York. <laughs> Look at the other side of the sun. And she's down there. There's a bubble. Yeah. I see a bubble once in a while, man. Yeah, you can see it's a bubble. He's okay. Because he's changing the propeller here. Has he taken off the old one yet? Fishing Boat Harbor, Small Boat Harbor in Nome, Alaska. We'll look around at a couple other dredges here. There's one. This is Abalone Bob's dredge. This we use a lot. There's a uh, Key Nessie, brand new this year. I guess that's not working very well. This is uh, the Mako. It's been around for a couple years. It's got a, a Dalkey. Jet on the front, bulky box. Jim, can I ask you, is there a suction on the edge of this bridge? Yeah. You know what? Which one? I've never seen no hose in there. No suction. Yeah, that one? Yeah. Yeah, you can see it's right in the, right in the front. That, no, you think that, it's that little one? No, that's all cables in there. No, 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 that black pipe on the other side of it. That eight inch black pipe. Oh, okay. It goes right down the side, hooks up just when they're, uh, Going underwater. Is there any kind of what's under with they that? Got thing? A, they got like a nozzle that's like two feet long by four inches wide. Okay. Got a big cage underneath it. I don't think it works very well. Alright, see that little power right here? You might want to get down for that. Down for that little color right there? Where is it? Yeah, it around. Just it. Yeah. There's like a pile tell here, to, pile there. Tell me to come down for it, then just finish for it. There's like a little pile right there, a little pile right here. Little yeah. piles everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Now you got the little handy bag, shop bag, to suck up. You can't get done scraping them off the bottom. Some material in there still. Gold's always the last stuff to come up. Stays right down there at the bottom. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff in there, but. You don't want to like try and push all that to one spot and then suck it all up? I did. I just want to get them all pulled and screws. Oh, okay. It's on the screws. All right. Back in the box to get the super fine gold off the bottom. There's Mike and Bundy. There we go. As the process continues, they've replaced the rugs and matting into the sluice box. Clean matting, clean ripples, and they are now classifying the material from the tub. We got out of the sluice box, classifying it back into the sluice box again, and saving different sizes. <laughs> One size, washed all into the bucket. Next size, 